Seventy-nine, the A320 going to Phoenix, Arizona. Who's a kilo Thai? Who is that? Tam 8081 heavy left on Alpha, short of Echo. 808 Bravo Lima, you didn't follow it. 808 Bravo Lima. 808 Bravo Lima, you told us to follow the Embraer. You follow the Embraer. Uh, JetBlue 1069. Hello, and welcome to M0A's video podcast, episode number three, The Run-Up. Today, we'll be going through a proper run-up procedure, learn how to clear a bad magneto, and see how to most effectively manage and read our instrumentation. Let's get to it. When starting your run-up, it's crucial to always turn your airplane into the wind. This will allow for maximum engine cooling. Verify our brakes are set, our parking brake as well is set, and our fuel selector valve is turned to the on or both position. Let's go ahead and trim up for takeoff. And next, make sure our flight controls are free and correct. Now I've heard horror stories about people not checking their flight controls after maintenance and the controls were balanced and they're actually put on backwards. So always make sure your flight controls are free and correct. We can go ahead and put our mixture full rich and verify that our primer is in and locked. When reading our instruments, I like to read from left to right like a book, starting with our airspeed indicator, verify it's indicating zero. Our attitude indicator is up and level, and our altimeter is within plus or minus 75 feet of field elevation. Our turn coordinator is level and swinging freely while we taxi, and our directional gyro is aligned with our magnetic compass. Also, our vertical speed indicator is indicating zero, or we're going to note its indication. We can then run up our engine to 1700 RPMs, and from there we can perform our mag check, checking our left magneto, and noting the drop. Next we can bring it back to both and look for a rise. We then check the right side, looking for a similar drop, and we can then bring that back to both. And we can check our carb heat in the same manner by turning it on and noting our drop. When clearing a bad magneto, the first thing we need to do is lean our mixture back. Next, we want to run up our RPMs just past that 1700 mark. Now this next shot here isn't that steady and it's difficult to hold a camera still at such a high RPM, but I did it to show you how our exhaust gas temperature is rising. We want to increase the internal heat of our engine to help burn off those carbon deposits and you want to do this for about one minute. After that minute is up, you want to recheck the magneto that was fouling and make sure you get a better drop. We can finish up by checking our suction, our engine gauges, and making sure our ammeter is working properly. And then finally, we can bring our engine RPMs back down to idle to verify our engine is still running. I hope today's lesson has given you a better idea of how to properly and most efficiently run up your airplane. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See ya. You're on Bravo. You're short of Victor Alpha. You're beam the Iberian. The beam Alitalia on the left there. Beam Alitalia. Alright, just hang on. Jeff 179. Yeah, there were uh, number two holding short of Victor Alpha on Bravo. I think who's the first jet blue on Bravo short of Victor Alpha? 35. You're an outbound? Yep. Hey, you guys should come up here one day. Jet blue 35, need you to pull it right up there and hold short of Victor for me.